Hello and welcome to a new episode of Black, White, and Red All Over. I'm Victor Dandridge. I'm Ryan and I have far less energy than that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm totally jet lagged. This right yeah. here, this is the reserves of the reserves. I'm, <laughs> I'm working on next weekend's energy yeah. right now. Um, but that's it's coming from a good thing. I had yes. a great time at Wizard Portland. World Portland, which yeah. was great. Lots of fun, lots of cool stuff happened. And um, I'm here now, man. I'm back, back home. Back in Columbus. That's what it is, yeah. man. Yes. Hometown, my turf. Yeah, can't, and Buckeyes. Man, you know what? I'll tell you what was so crazy. As I was leaving Portland, I give the the airport guy my uh, my ID, and yeah. he looks and he goes O H, and I'm like I O. What? Portland? Really? This is amazing. It happened. It happened. And he it's left a, me with a Go Bucks. Adapt him up. It's the ties that bind. Bam! Because we're everywhere, baby. Buckeyes. It's real. You don't even know. So, <laughs> hi, how are you? Oh, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, okay, reading-wise, yes. did we do anything that was the same? We did Just Sleek of America the okay. same, but we also did Sun Bakery the okay, same. Okay, okay. Uh, but then we went... After that, we were just totally all over the place. Yeah. Well, then... We uh, didn't get any requests. We didn't. It was really quiet. Was there, was there not stuff that you guys wanted to, to read? Like... Yeah. Hopefully this episode will be the thing that puts people on to some yeah. stuff because I kind of took that cue like because there wasn't anything that anybody yeah. was like, hey, read this. I was yeah. like, let me just blah, 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 read stuff. Yeah. So let's see. Let's yeah. figure out. Yeah. Um, where, where do you want to go first? Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe Outcast. Outcast. Okay. Yes, because you warned me away from flipping through Outcast and I did it anyway. But yeah. whatever. Talk to me. Where are we with Outcast? It's been so long since we yeah, talked about this yeah. one. Yeah, we haven't, haven't been reviewing it. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Not at all. Um, so uh, it's the 25th issue. Oh my God, are we already there? Yeah. Jeez. 25th anniversary of Image. This comic oh, is 25 so cents. Get out. Yeah, and it is, oh, it's so Kirkman. All right, mm. so I made the same mistake of flipping through it first. Right. And there are family member aspects mm -hmm. that had been in flux the last time we, we reviewed right, it right and those seem to be tying together fairly nicely okay uh and then it goes from a happy place to a oh wow uh, that, <laughs> that's a nice way to put it, that yeah that's a nice way to put <laughs> so, that's a flip flip wait is yeah, that is that oh whoa hold on yeah 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 that did happen yeah so it's it's really really cool and then it ends with with not just a cliffhanger but one of those oh kind of moments yeah um, yeah so if you if if you're a fan of of supernatural mm, type oh. horror stuff good call uh, it's supernatural in general actually yeah. the tv show yeah. i think this is like it's a very the grown up version of that yeah yeah it very much is there's no there's no dean so ish ish I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it could yeah. be a it's Kyle maybe right right but Oh, it's Dean Winchester, <laughs> Jackal. So, yeah, it's really cool, and it's twenty-five cents. Like, come on, like, what's it, the loss here? It, yeah, you can go in. Yeah, pick that up. Pick up the Walking Dead. In fifty cents, you're out, and Do you're that. and you have good stuff. Do that. And so. get the the twenty-five cents invincible. That's right. Look yeah. at that. Bust a dollar down, you get a quarterback and three awesome books yeah. by Bobby K. I mean, you can't go wrong. Yeah, with it's that. A, it's a no lose. Right, like yeah. literally no lose, yeah. which is pretty awesome. So. I took on Spider Gwen. Yeah. We're part three of the sort of crossover with her and Miles. Okay. And it's so cute. Like they kind of have like this this faux coupling going on, and it's yeah. adorable. Um, <sighs> they're bouncing back and forth between worlds, which is always fun. I think it's an offshoot of some of the Spider Verse ness yeah. that's been happening. Um, and like Miles is dealing with what he saw when he was over in Gwen's world, yeah. and it's starting to spill over into the 616. So there's a lot of stuff to balance. Obviously, I haven't been reading all of it, but I mean, Jason Latour does a great job of setting everything up. The, re oh, yeah. the recap page is so perfect. You get everything that you need to know, yeah. and you're like, okay, I got it. I'm moving, moving yeah. on. Um, oh, Robbie Rodriguez. I heart Robbie Rodriguez. The art is phenomenal. Still has the fluid like motion. I mean, it's literal like. It's like Robbie is doing this with web fluid. Like, just making it just... And it's perfect. I adore it. And then there's also an appearance by Ms. Marvel. Which Raleigh. makes things a little, oh. a little fun. A little fun. No spoilers. Not telling. But fun. How many sides are on a triangle? Ooh! <laughs> doot, doot, doot. <laughs> That's right. That's serious. That was, that was like a sincere question. Yeah. You're like, wait, how many sides? 
Is it a rhombus? I don't know. Trey. Trey. <laughs> Isn't it a cute one? Well, you're pretty cute yourself. How uh. about that? <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Back to the comic books. Back to the comics. What else did you tackle? What else did you get? <laughs> Uh, a, a book that I felt was far too obtuse for me. Um, uh oh, what? See what I did there? Oh. Geometry. I passed one test in that Boom. class. That's all you need. <laughs> so, all right. So, I was unaware of mm -hmm. the fact that Commandy was going to be a book with a different creative team each <laughs> issue, but with one theme and one story going throughout. Got you. I was, at first, I'm like, oh, this is a treat. Neil Adams is doing the art. Right. So it takes you back a little bit further and, and, and gives you that sort of old school vibe. Um, <clears throat> but the story felt a little off. Where it just didn't quite line it, up it, right? It, yeah. Okay. Like, it, everything was happening in, in a way that fit. Just, I don't know, just something didn't feel right. And that's when I was like, oh, wait, it's a different writer and a different <laughs> artist. <laughs> You're like, oh. Yeah. So it's it's still quirky. It's still got that New Gods kind of vibe to it. Right. Um, but... I don't know. It, it felt like they were trying to write a Grant Morrison type story mm, without Grant Morrison. Yeah. So <clears throat> now you, yeah. Peter Tomasi, wrote this one. Yeah. Right. Now I said the same thing about um, was it Superman that he was doing? Yeah. And the last arc of Superman felt like it was definitely trying to touch a little bit of Grant, but it just wasn't Grant. Yeah. No diss to you, Peter. I mean, obviously you're a fantastic yeah. writer. I mean, that's why you still get yeah. paid by DC to do this, but. I get it. I yeah. get it. Where you're like, oh, it's so, it's, mm, it, yeah. it's not quite that. And it's works. Tomasi is an incredible writer. His mm -hmm. run on Batman and Robin. Yes. Almost everything else he's touched. So it was just, it, it, it almost feels like they're trying to, with the series, recreate a vibe. And the the current living standard for that vibe mm -hmm. is there. Like, you know, multiversity. Right. So. And that's that's kind of where the Superman arc was. It was yeah. more of a multiversity style thing. Yeah. And that's where, I, I mean, I, I get you know, if you're going to be the best, you go up against the best. Yeah. But sometimes you're not ready yet. Yeah. It happens. It happens. Bobby Case put me in my place multiple times. That's all I'm saying. I'll I've been to the IRS building. You actually have? Oh, yeah. I'll tell you about it off camera. It's, <laughs> it's, it's more Rycor stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to learn. Yeah. Stop doing that. <laughs> all right. So I went with IDW's Highlander number one. Yeah. Now, okay, as a product, a child, a devotee of the 80s, mm -hmm. I saw this and I was like, I gotta. Yeah. Like, there's no way I'm not. Yeah. I gotta. Um, and of course, like, I'm reading and I'm like, okay, where, like, are we giving like a brand new tale? Or are we gonna dip into like the television series? Yeah. Like, where are we at? It's feeding off of the movie. Okay. Um, but it's almost a prequel of sorts. Okay. It, they're doing essentially what Marvel's Star Wars is doing. By filling in blanks and stuff. Okay, so, yeah. like, remember the dude that he meets on the bridge, and he's like, you know, are you? Do you have your weapon? No, I don't have. Oh, we're friends! Yay! Yeah. Like, it's kind of setting up stuff about them okay. and their past and how they got to this moment. Yeah. Um, they say something that, dude, has me has me interested. Has me very very interested. Um, I mean, because we with Highlander, I mean, we've had it for so long. We know yeah. like we know Connor, right? Yep. We know the Kurgan. Yeah. What if there was another bad one before the Kurgan got to him? Like, what if there was something else? Yeah. Now, I guess technically, if it's truly based off the movie, we kind of know what's going to happen. Yeah. But I'm still curious about this journey. How like, did we get there? I'm there. Yeah. I totally want to see it. So, uh, I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Yeah. This one, the art is kind of fun. Um, the story is definitely written by somebody who understands Highlander. Okay. And it's just like, yeah, this is what it is. Go for it. Very cool. Enjoyable. Highly enjoyable. And like you kind of hear the soundtrack in your head. Yeah. Um, yeah. And if you haven't watched the original Highlander movie, um, what are you doing with your life? It, it, yeah. I, it, sure, you could have watched one with Mario Van Peebles. I mean, it's, JP, it's, you it's, haven't watched it? Are you kidding me? <sighs> All right, we have to fire an employee. Yeah, I was going to say, dude, come on. What are you doing? It's got cool, it's, it's the soundtrack. I mean, just that the whole '80s vibe. Who wants of that? to live forever? Yeah. It starts off with wrestling with bleach blonde, long hair wrestlers. It's all right. It's okay. Just took me to a place. I'm watching it tonight. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying not to get up out of this chair and chase him. <laughs> do what you do what you have to after the camera stop. You know, no witnesses. No <laughs> witnesses. It's all good. Um, but amazing read. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Um, are we ready? Are we gonna talk about it? For some bakery? Is that is that is that where we are now? I think that's where we are now. Yeah. Um Sun Bakery, 
uh, Image Comics, Corey Lewis, Corey the Ray Lewis, um, really came into prominence in the like the aughts, the 2000s, yeah. if you will. Um, him and Brian Lee O'Malley, yeah. uh, I, I believe they're both Canadians from from Northern Montana, yeah. uh, depending on when, what time you know frame you're on. Um, but uh, <laughs> they they introduced this idea of video game logic, yeah. and it plays out in a lot of the things that they've created, which yeah. is really cool. Scott Pilgrim does it. Yeah. Um, for Corey, he did a book called uh, Shark Knife, which is awesome. Um, and he's done a few things here and there. Ping, which was like this awesome like uh, anime kickball game oh, okay. piece, yeah. which was awesome. So this is him unfettered and just going. Yes. It's 28 pages. It is 28 pages. Um, kind of color. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Um, this is for a very specific audience. Yes. And... 17 people out there are going to like this. I, absolutely. <laughs> listen, listen, a strong 17. A strong 17. Those 17 are going to love it. Um, it's, uh, I mean, okay, if you're a superhero fights and tights person, totally, totally not, not your show. Yeah, totally not. Not your show. Um, if you are... It's got like a real indie vibe to it. It does. It does. I mean, like some of the artwork on the pages, like he's like drawing over lines. It's not even like about being precise. Yeah. It's just putting it down. It, the thing that it reminded me a lot of. Yeah. And this is where I'm going to date myself. Uh -oh. Maybe, not, not, not like in a premarital sense. But, um, <laughs> Too late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the 80s and 90s, yeah. um, there was something that was, was big in both the heavy metal and the punk and the, and, and, and the skateboarding thing called zines. And we're, okay. I, I saw what they were shooting for and it just didn't, I was not the right audience. Which is fair. Which is fair. Um, would you say that maybe at that time you might have been? Like, is it a, is it a possibly phases and stages sort of thing? Or just like overall, is this not your vibe? I don't know, maybe. It's it's one that I, I definitely am going to take home a, a copy and then I'm going to have my two oldest kids read it. Okay. I gave, yeah, because I gave it to my teenager too. It was like, check this out. Yeah. Because it gets a little, I mean, I don't want to call it naughty, but it touches. Yeah. It touches, but... So I'm curious. Yeah. Like maybe, maybe next week we'll give a backup review after our kids have read it. And, and see and what the thoughts are. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Because it's, it's, okay, the goal that Corey actually states in the book yeah. is that he's trying to marry like the Shonen Jump style uh, manga anthology series yeah. with some Western culture stuff. Yeah. So it's kind of, oh man, it's, it's hard to really like lock down what it's like though. It, yeah. It's because you've got, is it three different, three different stories? Right. Because you've got one that is very like, the manga anime sports type story right. uh, and then you've got one that's like the master you know and, and fighting right but, but like within almost like a Scott Pilgr Pilgrim -esque sort of definitely, sort of vibe. definitely so I mean it's got I don't know it, it's interesting I, I, I want to see where it goes I'm I just don't know if I'm the right person I understand for it. I'm calling it a uh, professionally made 24-hour comic book okay that's what I'm calling it. Like that's, I think that's the most succinct way to put it. Um, the last time we had something like this mm -hmm. in comparison was uh, was a shark bear and grizzly, no, sea bear and grizzly shark. That's yes. what it is. Yeah. Um, I was like, wait, shark bear? No, that's no, a brilliant it. movie though. <laughs> <laughs> Making that one up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and I think like those are the two that you could compare that to. Yeah. That's something that was just done out of love. Yeah. And maybe. The, the quality is a little different. I yeah. won't say bad. I won't say bad. It's different. Because, I mean, yeah. it's definitely in line with Corey's style. Yeah. And if you're not familiar with it, it'll totally catch you off guard. But me being familiar with it, yeah. I knew what to expect. So, yeah. it's not, to me, it's not bad. But I guess it's more of my visual familiarity. Yeah. That's what I'll call it. It works. It works. Okay. So, wow, I think that's kind of the first time that we've had a difference. Not even a hard difference. But just kind of, you seem like a, 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 a harder no yeah. than I, me. I feel that there is a, a void now between you and I. We will fill it. Just you wait. Oh, yeah. Because you know what's coming next? Is it honorable, honorable mentions? mentions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so honorable mention-wise, mm -hmm. we only have one that is the same. And then yeah. we went like, pew, 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 yeah. all over the place. Um, I'm sorry. I've got to know about curse words because the invincible shout-out Oh, here, yeah. Is so legit. Yeah. That First is words. Hilarious. Uh, Chuck Chucky Soul. Okay. Soul okay. is, is, is writing it. Right. Um, I, I there's so much of his stuff that I love. True. Um, this is the continuing story, and mm -hmm. if you if you missed number ones, the second print for number ones came out this week, so yes. hopefully your local shop has them. Uh, it's like this. 
hipster wizard that has been sent from another universe or dimension to okay. like like take over and subjugate Earth. Um, but he doesn't want to because he likes it. <laughs> and so, yeah. Oh my God, that makes Invincible even better of a choice yeah. to choose for that yeah. one. Oh. Yeah. So it was like this, the real thought was put into this. It wasn't just like okay, we'll do a Kirkman book. It was it was that. That's awesome. Uh, and it just it picks up there where he's just he's kind of like like a hipster Constantine with a heart of gold, <laughs> but it so works. Constantine, but not a dick. It, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. It's just it's just amazing that wow. Margaret the Koala Bear. Yeah. It. <laughs> Okay. It, yeah, okay. it's it's just amazing. You just keep throwing words out that just say yes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> read this, read yeah. this, yeah. do it, do it, do it. Yeah, I yeah. did that. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I recommend it. That's what I do on the oh, show. Oh, man, good job, good job. Yeah. And I, I saw it, too, and I was like, ah, I'm going to go over here. And there's a reason for it. Yeah. Okay, so, like I said, I was just in Portland. Yep. And total failure in trying to connect with David Walker, who lives out there. And David is one of the few professional black comic book writers okay. in the game right now that's really doing an awesome job. Yeah. Um, not that the others aren't doing an awesome job, but I just realized it sounded really <laughs> negative, didn't it? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Backspace, delete that. What I meant was, what I meant was he's doing a great job and he also happens to be, what are these guys? Okay, never mind. So, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's so bad. I'm, I'm so sorry. That's why we can't, that's why we can't ever come up. Right there, me. Um, so I took on Occupy Avengers, uh, I think this is issue number four. Yes. And total blind. I'm just going in, yep. just going. Um, this is kind of like a, I want to call it like a Secret Avengers style piece, okay. but just not as, as grandiose in a scale. It's yeah. got like a little bit more down to earth, low homegrown kind of nature to it. So you got Hawkeye, you got um, uh, well, Nighthawk is definitely in it. You've got um, Red Wolf and then um, Nightshade is in it. Oh. And so it's an interesting combination of people that you're just yeah. like, all right, cool, let's do it. And seeing how the characters interact is, is very solid. Um, it's really interesting. Like, uh, I'm, not, I'm not as well-versed in all of the things that David has written. So, I mean, like, we read some of Shaft. I've, I've read some of um, Power Man and Iron Fist. Yeah. And, and I tried Cyborg. I'm sorry, I hate Cyborg. I tried, though. I really tried, but I just hate the character completely, explicitly, totally hate. So I, it just didn't vibe. But, um... It's interesting to see like the command that he has of these characters, yep. but at the same time, still almost telling a story in a very prose-friendly fashion. Okay. Like, he's not at a loss for words here. It's like he's telling a story, and there are some captions that are being used. Yep. Like if you just expect this to be a quick read, this ain't the book. Yep. You know, you're gonna actually take some time to, to go through all this. So it's interesting. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, Carlos Pacheco. I mean, so Don't on the you. artwork, yeah. this is a guy that has a long-standing history of yeah. the game. So. No questions there. Good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. And for issue four, for me to come in blind, I enjoyed That's it. some quality writing. I enjoyed then. it, man. I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed this better than I did Nighthawk. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I'll keep it 100. And David wrote that, and I just wasn't feeling Nighthawk. Yeah. But this, I enjoyed. Yeah. I did. I'm sorry. Still love. Yeah. All the love. Not every time you go to Taco Bell and, and get a Chalupa, it's good. Okay, I lied about that. Okay, I, I was I, like, wait, yeah. do you mean that? Like, <laughs> oh, I love Taco <laughs> Bell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Speaking of do you mean that, um, Justice League America, number one. I feel like some of the stuff that you were saying about that yes. can be said about this, but in a different way. Yes, talk to me. Let's, it's, let's just go ahead and let's get it out there. It's a mixture of characters you just want to shake up and see. Uh-huh. And we saw. Yeah. Um, Still can't understand why this yeah, thing exists. Yeah, that's the thing. Is I just, I don't, I don't get it. But it's also not, like, there's no witty banter. There's no. There's, no, there's nothing. I, yeah. It, there, I, literally, okay. I was rooting for the bad guy, and but I it, felt he had a great backstory. He did, he did. Like, yeah. the, ex the extremist character group here. Yeah. And I've seen them, like, they were on Justice League Unlimited yeah. um, in the episode with... Uh, Oh, who was it? I think the Captain or Captain Marvel episode. Yeah. They're in that, which yeah. is awesome. That's how I know them. But um, yeah, dude, you kind of you kind of root for the bad guy because it, this this yeah. Justice League incarnation. Not that it doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. It, it, yeah, I can't figure out the why of it. Yeah, yeah. Who I, decided? Why did they decide this? Yeah. I don't where's the regular yeah. Justice League? Yeah. Like. When a, yeah, when a power level that that of that stature attacks your 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 planet that you're defending, 
a Superman might show up. Right? A, a Flash? A Flash. I mean, there are two Green Lanterns. Yeah. One of them could have just been like, hey, yeah. what's going on, guys? Like, hey, what's this up? is cool. I'll go get Batman. Wait, you, right. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I enjoyed the intros of all the different characters. Yeah. That was kind of that was kind of fun. Yeah. Um, I was a little I was a little lost on Frost, not Killer Frost, because yeah. she dropped that. Yeah, it's all about branding. Yeah, you know her <laughs> her nondescript uh, occupational science it, th you know designation. Yeah. I'm a it's science very, expert. <laughs> you're like of what though? You're like science. Science. <laughs> <laughs> no, this no. to you, Steve. <laughs> Steve Orlando wrote this, and I mean we've got Ivan Riaz like on the artwork. So I mean yeah. you've got talent here, yeah. but it was just. I don't understand why you said that. It's it, like, yeah. I'm a scientist. I'm a scientist. I do scientific stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's so broad based. <sighs> um, it's, it's this one, I, uh, maybe this is like the new version of the Justice League Detroit team, where yeah. it, it's one that yeah. exists, but I'm, not, I'm still not sure why. Like, yeah. what, what happened? to the other team? And that's, I can, is that me? Like, do you know what happened to the other team? I, here's my big thing. If you took this group of characters yeah. uh, and you said, you know what? We're putting bombs in your head and you're going to work for us, it would be a really cool Suicide Squad team. That would be an team. amazing Suicide Squad team. Then, like, Why is it not Suicide Squad? Right. That's, like, we have the, the right creators, the right characters, and you're just using the wrong recipe. At, at least to me. I, I, but I, I just sell comics. I don't, you do more than that. You touch lives. <laughs> and hearts. <laughs> Dim mock style. You're like, BAM! Oh, yeah, I was gonna blow say. up! <laughs> oh, that dude from the... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so wait, wait. Before we go. Yes. Do you have anything planned for this weekend? What is this weekend? This weekend is the weekend of the 25th. Are you doing anything? Are you, are you actually have some quiet time? I think I have a Saturday what? and Sunday to just sell comics. What? Yeah. Which is super exciting. I mean, for that me. is exciting. That is definitely exciting. And you guys should definitely come in here and do so. Come buy all the stuff, yep. all the things. Now, me, I'm actually heading up to Tootley Do, Ohio. Really? Toledo, if you're not from there. Um, and it's a. <laughs> what? No? No, I. I <laughs> yeah, this is Tootley Do. This is what. That's what, the, that's what the locals call it. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm going to be at the Toledo Public Library, and it's going to be like a festival for black comic book creators. Um, sponsored by Peep Game Comics, which is an uh, online site where you can buy uh, comic books that are created, well, digital uh, reads, of comic books created by um, black and brown creators. So it's a cool kind of, you know, Black History Month kind of thing, and I'll be up there representing. So if you are in the Toledo area, even if you're not, just come in anyway. Just show up. Just be like, hey, I heard about you. Comics and stuff. Yeah. So, And we'll be posting links to that. I'm, I'm sure we can make that happen on, on our website, worldofcomictown.com, and also our Facebook page, Comic Town. And, oh, the Facebook Slashes. page, Black, White, and Red All Over. Yes, and you need to love that, like that, click that, subscribe that. Why? Because we're awesome. Look at this. So much awesome. That's our awesome alert. Did you hear that? Our awesome alert just went off. We just got two times more awesome. Oh, my God. I can't deal. Is that Highlander? Wait, I hope not. There's two of us, man. Come on. There can be only two. Two. <laughs>